here's the bench need filly that we just watched walk down the driveway on level ground. You want to evaluate these horses uh, and their movement to see if there is any deviation uh, below that bench knee. And uh, we'll go over the anatomy on the points here that we discussed uh, previously. Description of a bench knee, this would be an offset laterally. Bench knee to the outside. You can see the line come down from the humerus inserts in the knee, everything looks normal there, and then from down, everything swoops outside, laterally. So once that happens, then the cannon bone is out of center with the rest of the leg. Then the foot itself has to rotate to get back underneath the center of the body. So what we have here is we have a, a humerus that comes in, knee that goes back out, cannon bone that starts back down in medial and then the foot has to come over underneath the center of the body. That's a normal deviation for a bench kneed horse. So you see, you see where this line is here and it's almost non-existent, uh, barely touching the inside of the knee. This line should be centered on a normal horse. So what happens is because there is no cannon bone underneath of this knee and because the toe has, has uh, actually remolded itself and, and, and moved underneath the horse's leg, these horses start to build bone in here in the form of a splint. It's inevitable, it happens at some point in the horse's life, usually after they're starting to be ridden a lot and doing lateral work. It starts to build bone between uh, the distal end of the carpus right down in this area right here. She's got a uh, almost a normal slightly lateral breakover on the shoe which is good. She's not winging too much. As they get older, they get a bit wider, get a bit heavier. She'll start to break over more off the outside to try to get that foot around underneath of herself. Once we make our cut with our nippers, we'll be able to see how much distortion there is to the wall, separation if any, 